Hello, I am Mike. This is my friend Teddy. I love dolls, but daddy told this is for girls. I am a good boy, I think. Alright, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of Happy Mikey. A completely free to play game, I'll have a link for you guys down below. In case you want to check it out for yourselves, I encourage you to do so. Apparently there's multiple endings in this game too, so... Whatever we might or might not get here today, would probably be different for you. Now that being said, this was suggested to me by a lot of people during, um... Incubo, Fragile... Just because of it alone, I expect terrible things to happen. Let's get to it. Especially when the first thing you hear is apparently a scream. And my teddy bear seems to be moving. Another thing I should mention too, I believe this is a Thai game, so... Any Thailand bros out there watching? This one is apparently one from your neck of the woods. Okay. Let's see here. So we have Happy Mikey. Very happy as you can see by his mask alone. And... Flashlight F. Gotcha. Teddy? Hey, buddy! Do you know what happened here? Oh, you have been teleported to the different dimension you used to live because the core statues are destroyed. You need to repair them, then you can find a way to go back. You should avoid the monsters around here. It's dangerous. Crouching may help you stealth from their sight. Come on, you can do it. Almost forgot. I see a diary pages around the house. I think it's very important to you. Good luck. I always be here, buddy. Bruh. So we're in a different dimension, apparently. Because the statues were destroyed, whatever that means. And there's monsters about. Oh, you weren't lying about that, Teddy. Well, those are coming off the walls there, so... I guess uh, as long as we avoid the walls, we should be fine. Probably easier said than done, huh? Okay, let's get to it. We could also crouch to avoid the monsters. I guess maybe to stealth around, huh? What do we got here? Seems to be a longer. Let me put some volume up because I think I'm going to have to go based on sound. So I didn't tell you it's locked, you just hear the noise. Okay, so that's locked. You are open. Oh, there's a statue right there. You're locked as well. Okay. So somebody's apparently broken these statues that has sent me to a dimension where... Monsters roam about. Mm, can't do much there. Don't like that. <laughs> whatsoever. What the hell is this? Oh, a piece of the statue, probably. Okay, so we just place it here. Yeah. Okay, speaking of the monsters, there's uh, apparently one right there. It's a big giant eyeball. I, uh... I mean, for an eyeball, he's got really terrible vision, because I'm literally squatting in front of him, he can't see me. And his name is John C. You don't see me, I don't see you, everything is fine. Okay. Go, go, go. This is the pages he talked about. Neighborer. Oh, he brought he he removed the er. Neighbor, uncle, always take a bat with me. Well, that's already sending off red flags for me, but it's um, it could be a cultural thing, you know. It could be a cultural thing. So I'm not gonna jump to conclusions yet, but that's uh, you know, at least to me, it's weird. But, uh, okay. Cultural. Cultural Falcon. Okay, so... Those are the pages we have to apparently keep an eye out for, too. Is that a little ball there? What is this? Oh, there's another statue over there, too. Mm, got a ball? I'm not sure if you're part of any statue, or just... A ball. So there's a ball here. That one we can push. Okay, let's find out if you're part of the statue. Duck. Duck, please. Okay, okay. Chill. You are not part of the statue, because I can't place you there. It's fine. Is that threatening anything of indication? No. Alright, that's fine. Uh, go through here, hopefully. That opens up. 
Mm, don't, <laughs> don't follow him in here, please. Close the door. I can't close the door. Another diary page. I think I am the base, the best baseball. You think you're the best baseball? Maybe like the best baseball player? I mean, he's a kid, so that's nice. He, he likes baseball. Luckily, the, the creatures are creepy in their own way, but it's not like a grotesque-looking game, so it's not as creepy. I mean, that's actually kind of creepy. Fucking, <laughs> you're right. That fit. That opens. There's monsters in here, of course. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. There's another statue over there, too. Okay. So we got one statue upstairs, two downstairs, one in the living room. Another piece right here as well. Now, do you fit here or the ball? Nope. Yes. Can't see exactly what's in there. Oh, I think I just got spotted. Yeah, I got spotted. Damn. Like, it's hard to see what's in the cabinet because he's so short. So you kind of have to, like, move the camera tilting. Oh, I'm on bloody now. That's good. Any items here, by the way? Oh. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm actually kind of glad that I got cut after all. Would have missed out on this. It's another round one, so... It could be for the other one that took the round item. So let's see, you should be Horn. Okay. We got a red key now. Suddenly I feel like I'm playing Hello Neighbor or something. Okay, so this is back where I wanted to go now that we have the extra round item. That one took a round item, so let's see if what we need for that is another one. And this would complete our second statue. Yeah. Now we have a blue key. Well, it'd be nice if we could find <laughs> where these keys go to, right? Well, we got two of them now. It's just a matter of finding the right locations for them. And do a little bit of backtracking for that one, though. This is what we opened. This is where I got caught. Trying to see, like, you see how dark it is? Like, it's impossible to see what's in there. There's nothing in there. Okay. Oh, but we have found a piece. Big piece. Big chunky boy. Eyeball, please remove yourself from the premise. Oh, red one worked. Okay, we have a knife now. And that should be, I guess, another key at this point. And that could hopefully go for that door that's in the corner over there. Oh, no key. Oh. Let's wait. For real? Need another piece? Two hours later. So, I'm not sure if I somehow didn't click on this properly before, but this one that's right next to our room was with the blue key after all. So, I, I guess, I don't know, I could have sworn I got the blue key and I tried it on that one, but I, maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm going nuts. I mean, can you blame me? Look at the game I'm playing here. Well, we have the third item, which is apparently a tail, which definitely would fit with Lion King there in the center of the living room. So let's just get there, place it, maybe get another key, and that'll open the door in the corner, is what I'm thinking. Yes, sir. Okay, that worked. Perfect. Eee! Eee! Don't, don't do that. Okay. Oh, we got a key. I was just trying to rush in here and avoid this giant mountain monster. Oh, we need room now. Okay. Um... I guess we'll leave the golden key here, because we know that it opens up this room, right? So... Can't need it for something else, I'd imagine. There's... Uh, possibly a diary there? No. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Hello, I'm Mike. This is my friend, Teddy. I love dolls. But Daddy told, this is for girls. I am a good boy, I think. My grade is not good. I burn it before Mommy see it. B+. Plus. Again, it goes back to that thing that I mentioned when I did the one-shot on detention. It's just that very, like, um, competitive Asian culture when it comes to, like, schooling and stuff. Like, where, you know, you see that, you're going A, 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 and a B plus, that's really good, but, um... Everyone 
loves me. Yo. Okay. This was odd to me when I first picked it up, as I've mentioned. The page before that could may maybe it's just me jumping to conclusions, but it could be putting some context into this, right? Everyone loves me. There's a picture of like you know people kissing him, which doesn't necessarily isn't a bad thing. But then you follow up with this, which I thought was kind of. I could be about abuse, man. Mommy thinks she is a cat. Okay. My hero, Daddy, is the best. He good at playing baseball. I think I am the best baseball. Can I go back to that? No. Did the father beat this kid with the bat? Is that why? He, I thought he was talking about like he, he likes baseball. But if you can you see what I'm saying about the kissing thing now with the thing, you got to put it into context. So father's a good baseball player. He's probably not even a real baseball player. He just happens to have a bat that he beats this kid with. And he thinks he's a baseball because, you know, the, the, I am the luckiest boy in this world. Did I get all the pages? I wouldn't be surprised if this is like this ending is based on the pages if you get all of them or not. Oh, I can't check this out again. It's only like one time thing. Oh, it's a shame. I feel like we're missing context on the, the one that mommy thinks she's a cat, you know? Okay, here's the purple one. We still haven't used this knife yet, by the way, so I'm gonna go and equip it just in case. Is that the mom? Oh. Okay. So mom was good. Dad apparently went nuts. Or... I imagine... There was constant abuse, which is the reason why we had the diary pages of, um, I am the best baseball. But he eventually went overboard, had the mother locked in the basement. We were able to free her. Dad showed up for revenge or, you know, finish the job. And I guess because we had the knife, the mom used it to finish the father off. So I wonder what happens if you don't have the knife. Probably a bad ending. So would this be the true ending, maybe? Who knows? There you guys have it. This is Happy Mikey. Free game. The premise itself, really intriguing. Thanks a lot for suggesting this one. It does definitely fit into the Inky Bow and Fragile and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll have a link for you in the description down below in case you want to check it out for yourselves. Check out the other endings. Definitely cool. Little tie banger. Happy Mikey. I'll catch you guys next time.